the good old days of having you know a branch and you know getting customers in, those days are really truly gone.、Uh, today we are going out to get customers. There are severe competitions in the industry, and there are the technology disruptions, you know, transformations and disruptions happening every day from both the traditional competitors, you know, our peer banks, as well as the non-bank. The regulators are getting pretty heavy on the banks and also. Finance companies. We are subject to, firstly, customer expectations. You know the rising customer expectations, sophisticated products, new technologies, t- disruptive technologies, and also very stringent、uh, regulatory control. Now all this add together to force the banking industry to be truly innovative and transformative. From the senior management down to you know the middle management, even at the, the working level, at the front lines, and in the risk management function, IT function. I dare say those banks who are able to to stay competitive will have to embrace this digital transformation. I emphasize digital transformation because it's not just you know the brick and mortar、uh, branches or telephone banking and the ATMs anymore. Today we are looking at you know new strategies like mobile first when we. Conceive a new products or service. First thing we think we think of is mobile devices. You know the smartphones, the tablets, and then we think about the the big screens. You know the traditional internet banking, and then later on we think of how we introduce the same products or service in branches or call centers or or you know ATMs etc. So this is firstly the mobile first, and then we talk about cloud first, right? Anything that we can put on the cloud, given the regulatory. Uh, uh, limits that we we can put、uh, we can pull up with. Then we do cloud first. Those are the new digital strategies that we embrace these days. Yeah, I think that puts a lot of pressure on the architecture, the overall、uh, system architecture, or the entire infrastructure、uh, issues. And、uh, one of the ways we am, we adopt、uh, in this bank, in some of the other banks, and I'm, I'm sure as well, is to develop a very robust, very functional、uh, middleware architecture, where the middleware layer integrates or help to, to helps to integrate the legacy systems with the new. You know the new generation of of digital system, and the other thing we are building, you know, in in order to cope with this legacy, together with the、uh, the new system, is the、uh, enterprise data warehouse. The whereas the middleware integrates or, or gel the things, the gel the, the new and the old things together. We try to put the data, which is the most important asset from for the bank. We put the the most critical data in the data warehouse, in the enterprise data warehouse, in order to alleviate, you know, the the disparities between the different systems, you know, new and old. Given all the、uh, innovations and transformations and disruptions, to be honest, especially in banking industry, it's becoming less and less forgiving. Right? It's less and less forgiving. And、uh, if you are not winning, then you are losing. This is becoming more and more becoming a bipolar sort of industry.、Uh, you have to catch up. Why? Because the on the one hand, as I mentioned up front, the customer expectation is increasing, is on the rise, and customers are well, but much better informed, much better educated, so they know what they are asking for, and they compare from bank to bank. So if you do not offer the same level of products and service, then they go to the other bank. Secondly, the regulators they will not tolerate less than expected behavior or, or performance of any banks under their wing. So you have to live up to that to that level of、uh, of, of requirements from the regulator anyway, big or small. You know, big or small banks. So those who are lagging behind. They either have to catch up or they'll be left out. That's what the industry is becoming. And you know, compliance, risk management, the products and services. To some extent, they are becoming less and less、uh, tolerant or lenient to any non-compliance or non-non-non-performance by the customers, by your peers, and also by the regulator.